What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. I just wanted to start this vlog off by filling you guys in on our tyre situation and just bring some context, shed some light if you will, on the situation that has been happening over the past few months. So in the last car video you would have seen us painting those rims and getting them ready for the drags but it turned out they didn't even fit the car. We took it for a drive, tried it out, and as you can see, it hit the guard, as suspected. If we rewind back, 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 back to when we were purchasing these rims, it'll make more sense for you guys. When we went to the shop, we took the car down there, they tried on rims, and they found a set of rims that would work. They were a 19 inch by eight inch rim, and they said that they'll work, we were fine with it, we were happy. They had to order the tires, all the rest of it, so we waited, we got them in, and then they phone called me and said that they're not gonna work, they have to work on another set of rims, which were a 19 inch as well, but they were a 9.5 inch wide rim. And they were the ones that you guys saw in the last video. So going to a professional business of tires, we assumed that they were correct and they knew what they were talking about. So it turns out that they didn't know what they were talking about and they didn't end up working. So at this stage, I thought I'd take down our mate down Jack's tires and he could help us out and perhaps fix the situation a bit. And he said he could try and put the tires on the original rims of the car, which is a 19 inch by nine inch wide rim. So he tried that and then he ended up calling me in the workshop. You wouldn't believe it. There was a tire separation, which means the tire was doing this. And he said that if you were going at high speeds, there's high chance that it would burst. Don't know what would have happened if we actually took them down the drags. He said they are no good. Now, sometimes this just happens when it's a faulty tire and just we happen to buy these faulty tires, I guess. So luckily that they didn't even work at all. So we ended up taking that whole setup back, even though we painted the rims, the whole setup back with the faulty tires back to the original shop. We managed to get a full refund for that. So then I ended up going back to Horsepower Factory and asking the guys there, how did they go about with their other cars and how did they sort them out for wheels? I said, try this shop around here. So I went and tried this shop around there and they ended up finding a custom rim, which is the Koya and it's the SF13 rim so they have all the casts but they just got to make it it takes a couple of weeks so they are ready to be picked up tomorrow so we're going to go and try them we had to go and get the tires and now we're ready to go put them on tomorrow we've got the phone call that they are all ready to go so now we just have to take the car down there and fingers crossed that they work because in two days time we're going to colder to try this thing out so fingers crossed hopefully they work and we'll let you know got the wheels on got the rims on guys check it out Gave it a little bit of a squirt and it turned out this side here is a lot worse. It ended up carving up the tire right there. See that? That was just from a little burp. Ended up carving it up. There were all little stringers hanging off the tire. I'll tell you what, these fucking tires never ending. Everything else fine. Tires to get traction, no good. But look at the rims, they look right though. Look at that. M's on the way here with the original rims. And we're just gonna swap them back over to the other rims and yeah, just so we don't damage these any more than what need to be. And hopefully rolling the guards will fix all the problems. And now, a little bit of a finishing touch for our VF here. Yeah, clean. Erupted 2.0, bigger and better this time around. See it colder. Come on down. Again guys, like the guy just said, we're at the start, we're about four cars back again. Look, check it out, raining again. My goodness, oh, you can't really see it. There you go. A little bit of drizzle again. So, but the good news is, check it out, we have a little bit of a... <laughs> em, are you excited? Oh, uh, yeah, but I'm a bit nervous as well. So she's, look. Got a helmet. Twinning with our helmets. <laughs> All right, so hopefully this rain passes and uh, we get to race very soon. It's a bit of deja vu. Oh, yeah, it's deja vu, I'm saying. So this is all just a little fun session. Might even do the roll racing. We'll see how we go. See how the weather goes. Might do no racing. Wish us luck.
Was für ein Ärger. Finally got a pass guys, wasn't that great, but M, how did you find that? It was like, it was pretty awesome, but it was so scary. <laughs> it was like we were going to take off, it was when we, halfway down the track we were not getting traction and it was just like going, doo -doo 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 -doo, halfway down. <laughs> <laughs> and then once it like got traction, it was like we were going to take off, it just like kept pulling me back into the seat, it was like the weirdest feeling. It was... <laughs> oh, traction. Oh. Him just takes the photos of the car before we go home. How was that, son? It was good. Some pretty fast cars, especially that one on the trailer that didn't get to go. Yeah. Pro photographer, mum. Getting the angles. It looks good. Camera. That looks pretty good. Getting the angles. Oh. Make it look better than what it is. Em, so how was your actual experience in the in the car full send? I think I like it. <laughs> yeah, we've decided that we're most definitely probably, I don't know, not going to go colder again. Em, we'll try Heathcote. We spoke to a bloke and he reckons there's only 10 cars at Heathcote one Sunday, so that was a few months back, so we might try that. Might get more bang for the buck. <laughs> we're thinking about it. Let us know in the comments below. Heathcote or colder? Yeah, we, tr we tried the roll racing, didn't we, son? Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh. Stop it, him. All right, next time we go down the quarter or roll racing, we'll be with the stroker in there. So traction will be even worse than what it is now. But we're not going to come back. We've decided until the traction and wheels are sorted. So yeah, that we're a little bit off that. Put the new motor in, get the wheels sorted, and then we'll come back. Uh, if you like this content, guys, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, let us know. Make sure you're subscribed, have notification bell turned on, and we'll see you in the next one.